So here's my favorite broken matrix. It's not really broken as it stands, right? It's 1, 1, 2, 2. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking I want to find the inverse of this thing. OK. So how do I try to find the inverse? Multiply by the identity matrix. Augment by the identity. I could, right now, take the determinant, <laughs> notice that it's 0, and realize that I'm probably going to be screwed on this. Yeah. You guys see that? Let's figure out how we're screwed so that we can see what's going on. So I'm taking my matrix, 1, 1, 2, 2, and I'm augmenting by the identity. Yeah? Then what? You would try to change the identity to the other side, right? Okay, so let's not say we try and let's just do it. Okay. So what am I going to do to get a zero here? Multiply the top by negative 2 and add it together. Okay, so I'm going to multiply the top row by negative 2. I'm going to get negative 2, negative 2, negative 2, 0. And then I'm going to rewrite my whole system. What are you doing to the top row? Nothing. Give me squat. Leave it alone. Good. 1, 1, 1, 0. And the bottom row? Zero, 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 one. Zero, zero, negative two. I think I got zero, zero, negative two, yeah. one. Okay, now what? Can you get the identity matrix over here now? No, it's totally broken. You can't do it. Okay. Whoops. This is not going to work. Okay. That means this didn't work. That means no. <laughs> okay. Right, the correct answer to this question is no. Okay. You can't. The determinant zero smashes something. This matrix does not have an inverse. The reason I know it doesn't have an inverse, the process I tried broke, and also the determinant zero. You guys cool that? I can even figure out what kind of vectors this thing smashes. But that's maybe a more complicated thought. So if you spend a second and hit this against some x, y vectors, I think you'd be able to see what was going on. Oh, what the hell? All right. So if I took my 1, 1, 2, 2 matrix, right, and I hit this against some vector x, y, what do you get? x plus y and 2x plus 2y. Good. OK. Notice that this is a vector that looks like some stuff, right? Yeah. And then the second coordinate is? 2 times stuff. 2 times stuff. So, so what? You can't really do very much with it. Yeah, specifically I can't get the vector that looks like 0, 2 out of this thing, right? You guys see that? This thing misses a whole bunch of stuff. It can only come out with answers that look like stuff, comma, twice stuff. So this thing really looks like this. Right? The outcomes of all of this. So what this thing does is it takes R2. Right? Here's all of R2. And it smushes it onto the line Y is 1 half X. So if you think about taking all of the plane and smashing it, that's exactly what this thing's doing. So there's, in fact, the stuff it smashed, right? Is anything perpendicular. That's way more thought. But it should be clear that to fit this into that line, I had to smush a dimension. Okay. You guys cool that? Yeah. 